Welcome back YouTube, how are you doing? And today we are going to do a bit of a game guide for Cyberpunk 2077. Hope you're enjoying the game, I'm having a blast, I'm about 19-20 hours in now. And we're going to do a wee game guide series for this as I find things and solve them. I'm going to share them with you to help you uh, have a more immersive and a better experience with the game. So, let's get into it. Uh, some breach protocols. Let's do it. Hope you're having fun with the game. I'm having a huge amount of fun and I've got to tell you just a, a little um, aside. If you haven't tried playing around with the katana yet, please do so. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into uh, quick hacking and specifically let's uh, explain a bro breach protocol for you. So, um, as I said, a Breach Protocol is basically a quick hack, kind of mini game almost, and you will find a number of places around the map that you can perform this uh, Breach Protocol in. Mostly uh, you'll see it when you uh, scan around the place and find these little icons um, like this. Now, you will have to um, invest some points in intelligence to be able to do this and as you can see by the skill tree here there's a whole lot of um, additional things that you can grab to improve your breach protocol experience so i'm going to give you a couple um, examples you can see that improves things by 20 percent gives you more time to um, figure things out um, so there's a whole lot of things in this part of the tree that you need to look at. Increases the breach time by 50%, etc. So lots of things that you can do to help here. Um, but like I said, you have to invest in intelligence first to even be able to get into the mini game. And you will be rewarded by um, various things. Money um, is one of them. Uh, you can also hack into systems but pretty much you're going to get four the quick hack components as reward so epic legendary common and uncommon um quick hack components so be using your scan tools quite a lot that's one tip i've got for you use your scan tools more than than you probably do when you first start the game now you see the little icon there we're going to go through the door and we're going to get into this little terminal here just make sure everything's clear that we've killed everybody and nobody's going to come and sneak up on us. Take some max doc. Um, okay, so let's connect and I'll freeze the screen once we get in and I'll explain it for you. So here we are in the breach screen and there's a few things to um, just note. So you'll see there's the breach time remaining. That will not start until you click on the first um icon in the puzzle once you do that will start taking down now if you come in here and you look at the puzzles and you find they're just too hard and you want to reset if you leave the screen and come back in the puzzles will reset however that time in up the top there will become shorter and you can keep doing that until it's only a six second timer so you can manipulate it if the, you think the puzzles are too hard for you. Okay, so we're going to start off with the, if you look on that right hand side, you'll see data mine version 1, version 2 and version 3. So there's three levels of puzzles here. It is possible to, say, to solve all three. I have done it once to this point. Um, but it's extremely difficult. So what we're going to show you when we come back into the video is we're going to show you how we solve a version one and then later on we're going to show you how we solve a version three. So not on the screen there, data mining version one acts as a small amount of euro dollars, dollars plus components. Version two acts as a moderate amount of euro dollars so we're getting a little bit more money and components and then number version three large amount of euro dollars and components and you'll see when we run the footage um, just what kind of rewards that we get to give you an idea on that so what i've done in this little um 
this little picture, you'll notice that the top row is actually got a little bit of a red line around it. So what you will start with and what you have to do before you start the the puzzle is to try and figure out what um, what path you're going to take. So if we look at uh, the data mine version one code, it's BD1C1C. So the um, the puzzle, as soon as you click on an icon, will change. You can see at the moment it is horizontal. It's going across the screen. As soon as you click on one of those BDs, it will change to a vertical path and then it will change back to a horizontal path. And, and essentially, this is the sequence <coughs> that will happen every time you do a puzzle. Now, that will solve the version one. If you continue, it will continue to switch between vertical and horizontal until we've solved all the puzzles or until you can't go any further and then it will go it will show you what you've solved and what you haven't solved and again once we get to the footage we will show you that um do uh, understand as soon as you click on that first icon the timer will start so let's get into the footage and we'll show you how that this works in real time okay so i am just working my way through this um trying to figure it out so we'll click on one in a second and you watch the timer will start and we go through and try and solve the first one so i've gone for the, the second last column there's a one c below it so and then coming across there's another one c so that's correct so there there and there you can also already see version three is still available at this point I didn't manage to get it. So that's how it works. That's how you work the puzzles. And I'll keep this running because it will show you the rewards. So you can see uncommon, rare, and epic components that I got. And it should pop up in a second and show you some money as well. So some crafting experience points, experience points. And there you go, some money, $153 for a, um, for a version one. So skipping ahead a little, we are going to do another one here. I'm going to do a version three here. Plug in. And this is a little bit more complicated. So it's 1CE955. And uh, there's some clues there. But it's a whole 55, so... Okay, so 1C is your starting point. So there's one at the uh, left-hand edge and one at the right-hand edge. So it's a case of figuring out where the E9 is, which is in that first column. The second, the last column doesn't have one. And then where do we go from there? We go to 55, so it would be there. And you can see I'm just trying to figure this out. So take your time. There's no time limit. It's not going to start. So we're going to go 1C. E9. And then 55. It could be either of those. And there we go. We've, we've solved that one. So again, if you want to solve all three, you gotta, you got to take your time and um, trying to figure it out. But it is possible, like I said, I have managed to figure out the last one. Let's have a look at what we get for a reward for that one. Um, so it was very quick, but it was $459. Some experience points, and I think we get, we go uncommon, rare, epic, and uh, quick hack components. So I know that with the version 3, sometimes you get legendary components as well. So one last thing I wanted to just talk about was the um, rewards that you get for doing this. So you can see these quick hack components in the bottom left there. What I think this allows you to do at some point, you should be able to um, put together your own cyberware. You should be able to craft your own cyberware. 
Um, I don't think we've got that unlocked at the moment, but you can see you'll be able to, at some point, craft your own cyberware. And I believe that these components that you get as part of the uh, breach protocol will allow you to build uh, those uh, components for your cyberware. Just in case you were wondering why you're getting all these components as a reward. Uh, I believe that is why you are getting those. If anybody's got more insight into this, please let me know in the comments down below because there wasn't a lot that I could find um, about this online, but um, I'm assuming that's what it should be able to allow you to do. Okay, guys, thank you for that. I hope that has been useful for you to um, to understand. Hopefully it will help your gameplay experience. If it d does, let me know in the comments. A like rating is always appreciated. There's about 88% of you guys that watch this channel that aren't subscribed. So if, if you want to see some more of this cyberpunk uh, um, walkthroughs and game guides or anything else on the channel, please uh, uh, consider subscribing. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya.